Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. I'm 30. I had my 30th birthday yesterday. I had an amazing birthday weekend. I'm a twin, so I got the blessing to be able to share that with him. And we had an absolutely fantastic time. I was spoilt with gifts. I was absolutely spoilt with going out for dinner um, several times. Um, I've got an incredible, incredible family. And yeah, and now I'm 30. And do you know what? A lot of people, and I had a few comments actually, uh, saying that, are you worried? Um, and I had a couple of people when I said to them um, how old I was going to be turning, I had a couple of people say to me, oh, and sort of hesitate and kind of much for me to sort of go, well, I'm not worried. This isn't bothering me. This isn't bothering me. And do you know what? I was more stressed about turning 25 than I was turning 30. And you know what? I actually look back on my 20s and I'm proud. I have to admit, I'm very, very proud of my 20s. Um, they were not an easy time for me from 24 to literally just only a couple of months ago. Um, they were filled with a lot of stress, a lot of worry, um, a lot of operations. Uh, so my 20s in a way, you could say a lot of them were me coping with sort of getting back on my feet, having to deal with the stress and trauma of operations. Um, it was hard. In places, it was really, really hard. But however, having said that, I don't look back on my 20s and think, oh, my goodness, I'm glad that they're gone. I look back on them and I'm proud with how I carried myself. I'm proud with how my 20s, where they got me to where I am now. Um, I'm happy with how... And what's happened? Um, the outcome. I've, I'm a lot stronger. And um, I got to do some amazing things in my 20s. I got to do some amazing traveling. I've had some amazing times with family. I've had heartbreak in my 20s. I lost my dear nan, who was my absolute world. And I lost her just shy of my 28th birthday. Um, and that really changed things for me. That really changed the course of life for me. It really, really did. When you think that someone's always going to be there and then suddenly they're not. I am a faith. So that brings me a lot of strength. That brings me um, a lot of clarity. And that really has helped me. It helps me every single day. Um, I've been blessed in this life with incredible parents. And my amazing nan, for me, in my heart, was at that parent table. So I've really been very, very blessed. Um, and I've got an incredible family. Um, Yes, there's been trouble in times, but you know what? If anybody was to say to you now, do you wish you were 21? No, I don't wish I was 21. Um, I had my 21st year. I loved my 21st year. I got to spend my birthday in, in, uh, in Mexico. I got to do some incredible things, visiting Chichen Itza, um, Cobra Temple. I had the opportunity to stay in an absolutely incredible uh, hotel, and that was an amazing experience, and I really, really loved that. And as I say, throughout my 20s, I've, I've, had, the, I've had the real privilege and opportunity to be able to spend it in many different parts. Um, in, in, of the world. And I've had some incredible, uh, times with family. Um, and, and it's been lovely and I've absolutely loved it. And I can honestly say I, I did, despite everything that went on, I, I really did enjoy my, uh, twenties. Now, of course, for when I can now talk about my twenties, um, a lot of people can be quite stressed. A lot of people, uh, can be really young men and young women can be really stressed in your twenties. I think because we set such a heavy expectation on ourselves to have everything. Do you know what I mean? All the boxes ticked and to know exactly where we are and what we want out of life. But let me tell you, do you know what? It does not matter. This life is such a blessing. It's such a privilege. Just. All I can actually say, if you're in that mode and you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, I'm going to be 25, or I'm going to be 26 or whatever age you're going to be turning. What I really would say to you is just enjoy the ride along the way and just enjoy the very here and now. And if you've not got it all out in this golden plan, or if you're not exactly where you want to be, do not worry about it because it doesn't necessarily at all in any way, shape or form that you are going to be unsuccessful. You are most probably incredibly successful now. OK, but the plan you hold for yourself, perhaps it's not coming together straight away. Perhaps it's taking a little bit more longer to materialize or perhaps you've planned to do something and yet your whole course of your life has changed. I know, for example, when I lost my nan, my whole life just literally just swung off to the left. I really, number one, for the first couple of weeks, I didn't even want to do anything at all. Um, 
And all sorts of things can happen to us, and not just in your 20s or 30s, but of course at any age. And I always say that as long as your mind is healthy and you're healthy and you're fine, then age is only a number and we can change and we can do anything we want in this life whenever. Life is full of opportunity. I think the worst thing anybody can do is sort of say to themselves, no, I can't do that. Or to sort of say to themselves, no, you don't do that at that age. Um, never, ever cut yourself off from the opportunities there is in this world, because we can do anything. We can do absolutely anything in this life. And the minute you start putting yourself in a box and thinking, no, I can't do that, we can. We absolutely can. That's partly why I chose the career of what I'm in, finance and accountancy, um, because I wanted to set myself a challenge. I will be very, very honest. I am not a gifted A-star student at all. I get there, but I have to work damn hard for it, and I have worked damn hard for it. And I will be the first one to say that I am certainly not, by any means of the imagination, a high-flying sort of mathematician or anything like that at all. However, I wanted to set my sights high in the career I've chosen in my life. And I've worked, I continued my education. I'm still doing my education now. So all throughout my 20s, I've done many, many exams, many, many different qualifications. And they were hard. They weren't easy. It wasn't gifted to me. And I think sometimes when I speak on my channel, a lot of people, and I've had comments where I'm overprivileged or it's been gifted and this, that and the other. No, I come from a family where my parents have worked incredibly hard and growing up I had a very privileged uh, life and I got to do some incredible things, but that was through hard work. Um, and my parents have built that from the ground, um, like myself. Yes, okay, I've had amazing opportunities, but it's not been gifted. It's not been gifted to me in my own personal life. Of course, my parents have created an amazing start for me in life, but then it's it was very, it was very much said in my mind that I wanted to make my own way. I wanted, I, I could have took an easier route. Absolutely, I could have took an easier route, but I didn't want that. It was very important for me to choose something which was going to be a tough challenge, which was going to be hard. And you know what? It feels amazing to think now that the role I'm in, that I worked hard for this. I'm at that point now where I can start to sort of just concentrate and work hard on my role. I don't necessarily have to keep building the building blocks up of education or getting myself there. I am now starting to be recognized for the hard work which I've done. But never in a million years did I think that I would be in the field of what I'm at. The reason why is because I wanted to set myself a challenge that I can actually challenge myself and I could walk. I could work hard at it because ultimately what I wanted to do was walk down the street and say, do you know what? You've qualified as an accountant. Okay. You've worked hard. You're there. You might not want to do that for your whole life, but you never thought that you were going to be good enough to do that. And actually my parents always knew, my nan always knew that I was good enough to do that and to be where I am today. But I always didn't think that. So it feels great to step into my thirties now and to think that actually, yeah, okay. I wasn't an A-star student. But I worked hard. I got good grades. And actually now I'm at that point in my life where I can think, you know what, you have done well. So success, my friends, can be deemed in many, many different routes. And we are all in our own right going to get there. OK, but you have to want to. So you can't necessarily put yourself in a situation by never taking opportunity or never taking risks, because the thing is, don't never be afraid to make mistakes because those mistakes grow us. Now, I made one or two mistakes career wise, job wise. Um, unfortunately, I was uh, I went through some workplace bullying in one of my roles when I was around 20, to be honest. And I wish them that I would have stood up. I wish them that I would have stood up and and done something about it and not let myself be treated like that. Because then, to be honest, I could have been a little bit more further advanced on back then. I could have helped others through this person not allowing them to go on and do this to somebody else. Um, so yeah, don't ever be afraid of making mistakes because that's one thing out of my 20s, that that will grow you, that will give you confidence, that will give you strength. Don't ever be afraid to take opportunity. And just because your friends or people in your network group, okay, are doing something else, don't be afraid to do something different. And I think that's really important as well. Don't just do something because, for example, um, I don't know, your brother's doing something or your sister's doing something or your best friend's doing something. Do what makes you happy. And if you want to challenge yourself like I did, 
yeah, choose a career, but there are going to be difficult times. And believe you me, I've nearly been in tears at times. I thought to myself, I just don't understand this concept, or I just don't understand this element of this work. But walk away, take a moment, even take a break. Take a break for a couple of weeks if you can, or a couple of days if that's not in your kind of remit or you can't do that. And if you've got to your point in your life and you think, do you know what, I chose this career path or I want to do this in my life or I'm doing something right now and you're thinking, I just cannot do it. Number one, if it's something as simple as just taking a break for a couple of hours and then coming back, my friend, I would absolutely guarantee that it will always look better when you come back. If you can take a break or if you can take some annual leave, that's always going to help you as well. But just do not walk away from something. Do not walk away from something. Do not count yourself out. Never ever think to yourself, I'm not good enough. Because that's what I wanted to do from school when I picked my career. That, do you know what, at the time I was going through health problems and things, and I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm going to get there. I might not be able to do the same sort of route as everybody else, like sit in a normal um, college setting or something, or university setting, but i done distant learning approach. Um, I worked hard. Yes, it was a little bit more. And thankfully, my parents were in the, in, in, um, they, they were in a situation to be able to help me with that. But you know what? I worked hard and I've made it my goal. I've paid them back. I've gifted them things to be able to pay that back. So I've worked hard for it. And I knew that it wasn't going to be easy. Um, but I got there. And I think testament to my experience is that if you want to do something in this life, it doesn't matter if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and beyond. You can do it if you work hard enough at it and if you give enough time and if you dedicate yourself to it. But don't forget to play as well. And when I say that, I mean, don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to switch off. Because as we do go through life, there are opportunities where sometimes you may be thinking, oh, no, I've got to, I've got to do that piece of coursework this evening. Oh, no, I've got to do something this evening or I've got to do a little bit of studying or I've got this to do for work tomorrow. Don't let the opportunities of having amazing memories um, pass you by. So enjoy the journey, I would always say, uh, along the along the way. Um, because sometimes, yeah, it's nice to get to the top, but if you've missed out on different things in that journey, then that's not a great feeling either. So never ever count yourself out from opportunities. Never ever close yourself off from opportunities. Always keep looking. Never ever think that this is me now, I'm done, I'm where I want to be. Keep going. I think just as human nature, it's important for us to keep wanting to evolve, keep wanting to grow, develop. Now, it doesn't mean through education. We're growing and developing all the time, just through life. Life teaches us so much every single day. And I think your 20s does that immensely. And like going back to what I said, if someone said to me, and I have heard this, do I wish I was 21 again? No, I don't. I've had that time in my life. I've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed my 20s. Yes, I had rotten times where I had uh, higher operations, which didn't go right, and I had to end up having my groin reconstructed. But you know what? These things have taught me so much in my life, and they have put me where I am today. And I do feel in a strong position today, and I do feel that the Lord above has blessed me, and I have all of these incredible things around me. And yes, the Chief Yes, I've made mistakes in perhaps not taking the right road in roles and education, but I've got there and I've made it my goal to not give up. And I'm still going now um, and I'm never going to stop my passion for learning. I love learning. I love moving forward. Um, but yeah, life is good. So as I step into my 30s and I'm now 30, I look back with a smile. As they say, don't they? And I love this phrase. Don't be sad that it's over. Smile that it happened. And you know what? I love all the places I've been to. I love Greece. I've had some amazing uh, holidays to Greece in my 20s. I've had some amazing times all around Europe. I love the Mediterranean. Love Mexico. Um, I've got plans going forward now as well. I love my traveling ventures. My 30s, I hope... I meet the lady of my dreams. I hope I will be married in my 30s. I hope that I'll be able to start a family in my 30s. Um, I hope that I'll be able to just, I suppose, one thing which I have thought about a lot as well is that I've been blessed with so many incredible things in this life. Um, and I hope that I get to pass those blessings on. I hope I continue to still be able to help people. I always love to help people and not necessarily my family. If I can help anybody else, um, then I will. There was a few colleagues uh, in recent years who have been through some really horrific times and I've made it um, 
at the end of a busy day or anything, then I'll just check in with that person. I'll just keep asking them, are they OK? How are they feeling today? Uh, what are you doing at the weekend? Are you doing anything to lift yourself up? Just being a support, just just trying to be that goodness um, in people and really just trying to concentrate on being the reason that people do still do believe in the goodness in people, because we hear so many horrific things going on in this life. We really do. And I think the last kind of notion I want to leave this clip on is that when someone gets down about their age, why worry and stress about something which you have no control over at all? And that if he has blessed us to have another year ahead, nobody has promised a tomorrow. And if we're blessed with another, I always say, grab it with both hands and run with it. Never ever put off what you can do today. Never ever put off telling somebody that you love them or showing somebody what they mean to you. And that could be that could be your wife, that could be your husband, that could be your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mum, your dad, your nan, your grandparents, your auntie, your uncle, anybody, brothers and sisters. Never ever put off telling them or letting them know what they mean to you because this life is so, so precious. It really, really is. And when someone says, I had a couple of comments like turning 30, and of course, just jovial comments. And um, I had some amazing well wishes for my birthday. So thank you so much for that. Um, and I've had some lovely, lovely comments on my on my channel as well. So thank you for that as well. But when, I mean, even just in our YouTube community, when you think that there are young people, younger than the age of 20, 18, 19 years of age, children who have lost their life, what on earth, do? what right do I have to worry one little bit about turning just another year older, the blessing of turning another year older, all those adventures to come. What, uh, what on earth do I have a right to then question something as simple and that God-given gift of just age and life when there's so many more people just would give their life for just a few more hours of life when actually if I've been blessed with another then surely it's up to me to reach out in this life and grab it with both hands and run with it. And that's what I would say to everybody. Have the strength, have the faith in yourself to grab the blessing of life and run with it and make it count. Like I always say to my brother, if he's a bit down on just imagine life as a book, write yours how you'd wish to read it. No one wants to read a dull book. It will just stay on a dusty shelf. And I'm OCD and there's no dust on those shelves, I can assure you. But yeah, just embrace life, love life. And I know it's not always easy, but try to. And if you can't, then look after yourself and just concentrate on the right now. And until you've done the right now and you've got over the next couple of hours or the day ahead, then just take it little by little, uh, day by day, week by week. Don't think too far ahead into the future, my friends. God bless. Thank you for being here. And yeah, it feels great to turn 30. So don't stress. If you're where I am, don't stress. Embrace it. Love it. And yeah, make every moment count. God bless, and until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.